Derek Splone alongside Carl Towns. Carl, first and foremost, how does it feel to be a McDonald All-American? Oh, it feels great to know that. I've been able to have the blessing and the privilege to be here uh, in the 37 McDonald's All-American game. Uh, there's so much great things that uh, I've accomplished in my life, but this is definitely up there in the top. Absolutely, and final high school basketball season just passed, I believe. How does how was that season for you? What was that journey like? Um, the journey was just uh, just the way I thought it was like a storybook. We had we uh, had a lot of games. We had a, a lot of adversity. We had to come over, and we did, and we uh, were able to come out with the overall championship, the TLC championship. And you committed to Kentucky, man. What was that recruiting process like for you? Uh, for me, it was just uh, it was. Uh, it wasn't as bad as the other ones because I made it so early, and uh, I just went. I didn't really want the pressure and the media attention. Um, I just wanted to be able to uh, enjoy my high school career and play the way I wanted to play. Why Kentucky? Kentucky is just a great school. I mean, it's not even the basketball tradition there speaks for itself. It's the most winningest program in college basketball. Um, you, the coaching staff is top notch. You're talking about some of the best coaches the business has to offer, and uh, education point. The Kentucky just had the major I wanted in kinesiology, and it's top three in the country at that. And why that major? That's that's an interesting major to go. Um, for me, it was just my mom's a nurse, so I've always been part of. The, I always wanted to be in the medical field. I always wanted to be a part of sports when my career was over, and uh, that was the best thing. I'd be able to do both. That's awesome. But uh, moving forth, what are some skills you feel like you still have to work on, especially moving forth to oh, the next level? For me, I always wanted to be the most versatile player on the court, so I always say I'm going to work on everything. Uh, there's nothing I not don't want to work on. I want to be the most versatile player on the court, and if I keep working on it, I could possibly do that. Do you model your game after any particular player? Uh, for me, my favorite player is Len Bias, but I take a lot of influences from Len Bias, Magic Johnson, Hakeem Olajuwon, Tim Duncan, uh, Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, Sam Perkins, you know, I just take here bits and pieces there and everywhere to uh, implement to my game, but also add my own style. There you go. And do you credit anybody for your basketball success up to this point? Oh, I, I credit my father. My father was the reason I even got started with this sport. He's taught me everything I know, and uh, I'm just glad to see that all his work is paying off. Absolutely, man. A couple questions about yourself. What music you listening to to get you ready before a game, man? Uh, hip hop. I'm all about hip hop. Uh, I just love listening to hip hop, and uh, anytime I have a chance to, I listen. What's one thing not many people know about Carl Towns that you could share with us? Um, I quit basketball in seventh grade, actually, be a baseball star. So uh, I joined the game back in as an eighth grader to play basketball. So, uh, uh, you know, I played basketball my whole life. I didn't like it anymore. I had love for baseball. I played baseball for a year, and I quit baseball, actually, oh, okay. to join back to basketball because I missed it. Oh, okay. I was going to ask you if you're going to play baseball and basketball in college, but I guess basketball is just a question, man. Nah, nah, basketball is the way to go. There you go. Derek Sloan, Carl Towns, okay, appreciate you. your time, man. Thank you.